hello and welcome back to another Strong Collectors Quick Reacts. Now, it's just me today. I'm Jordan, and I'm going to be talking with you. Well, Dakota, the reason that it's just me today is we are talking and diving into, or should I say swinging, into the Spider-Man No Way Home 3-pack. So I am the one who has the Hasbro Pulse membership, so I get free shipping. So Dakota mooches off of me, and I have his here waiting for him. Um, but that means I got them first, and I got to open mine and check them out. As you may know from past episodes, I've been pretty stoked about the Spider-Man 3-pack. Um, I mean, Spidey is just kind of my guy. Dakota likes Spider-Man, but I would argue we're at different levels of Spidey fandom. Where I remember seeing the Toby one in theaters as a kid, and that one was really important to me. So I was really stoked to see him returning to the MCU. Not returning to the MCU, coming to the MCU for the first time. Which, I'm still kind of blown away that they did that. But, I was really excited, and I definitely knew that I had to get one. Okay, that said, I was really excited. I wanted this to be awesome. I know a lot of people groan at the $89.99 price tag. That is pretty hefty for a three-pack. I think they're charging, as Dakota says, for the Spidey tax, which makes sense because if it's Spidey, you raise the price a little bit, right? Because you know people love Spider-Man, and suckers like me will just go ahead and pay for it. Um, but... Basically, there was that. There was the fact that they were just digital renders. We didn't actually get to see the figures before ordering. And then we now have rumors about a No Way Home 3-pack, or not 3-pack, uh, wave coming later. So it's like, what's going on? Um, but either way, no matter what, I'm happy that I got it. And I think uh, if you are a fan of these Spider-Man, you'll be glad to have them too. But there are some issues with it. Now, I'll start with the good stuff. I think the Andrew Garfield Spidey is actually really good. I've had the other one a couple times. I've gotten rid of them, sold them, traded them. It was just always kind of weird, sort of ball jointy, and the legs like stuck way out, kind of like those old ball joint figures. This one does not have those problems. Um, I think the paint job's pretty good. I think you can see one detail that I thought was really cool is that you can see like his web shooters sculpted onto his wrists, which is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, I like the color scheme. Some might say it's a little too dark, kind of is. The butterfly joints don't have crazy range. There's some, um... But, I mean, I think if you're wanting an Andrew Garfield Spidey, and I think he was kind of the surprise standout in that movie, then you'd probably be happy with that one. So he's pretty good. And then I'll get to the not-so-good, in my opinion, which is the Raimi Spidey. Now, this one really was sad for me to think it's my least favorite in the three-pack. There's a couple issues. I mean, obviously with all these, everyone had problems with there not being unmasked heads, which I get. But I was willing to overlook that because it's like, you know, maybe they'll do civilians versions later and you can get the heads or, you know, whatever that looks like. And Dakota would say this too, and I agree, how often do you display your Spider-Man unmasked? I guess maybe neither of us do that, so, you know, maybe we're the weird ones. Which we probably are in a lot of ways. Um, but this one, right off the bat, I think a lot of people thought this, is the color scheming. Like, it's almost way too light. Um, I don't mind the line work. Like, it's not, like, super splotchy or weird. The one thing that I hate, though, I hate, I hate, I hate, is <laughs> how tiny his hands are. I don't know if you can get the comparison in the video, but his hands are, like, this much of his face, like this little circle here. And then he's got that weird thing going on with his hips that kind of some of the other Spider-Men have, where it's like, he's almost got like two waists 
like a waist here and then like a waist up here and it just doesn't really I don't know it just looks too bulky boxy the proportions are all wrong my wife pointed this out that his like torso I don't know it's just his legs look super long maybe that's just me but that kind of bothered me so that was sad which prompted I think we, my wife posed Spidey like this just to be disappointed. The Andrew Garfield, or not Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, which actually is kind of the surprise standout for me, which is weird because I have this one from, is it Armadillo Wave? I think so, Armadillo Wave. Correct me if I'm wrong. Don't be too mean to me. But this one, like with this, the painted sculpted lines, I think looks actually really good. Um, like it definitely makes the figure much better. I feel like they kind of went more all out with the gold paint. Uh, overall, this one's actually really good, and I didn't think I'd care. I thought I'd care about it the least. Probably my second favorite out of the pack. And then followed by, um, I don't know, probably the Raimi one being last, sadly. So I'll hold up all three. One last look. Before we wrap up, um, there you go. I, if I mean, I don't want to dissuade people from getting it if they're stoked and they really want it, but I also think people should be aware of what kind of the product is like. Even if, though, you don't end up wanting it, I can't imagine you're going to lose, like, even if you bought this, you could probably sell each one for like 30 each, maybe a little less, but at that point you're just paying for the luxury of getting to handle the toy and check it out. So I don't think that's a bad deal. Um, if you totally hate this, then I see your points. Don't totally agree with you, but I get it. So that's kind of that on the No Way Home 3 pack. We do have merch available. If you click below, I think, <laughs> maybe it's above me. I don't know where it is. Click on that link. Dakota will slap that in there. Um, you can get a Strong Collector shirt. We have giveaways all the time, so you want to be entered because we do random give giveaways where we just draw from our pool of subscribers. So feel free to do that. And until next time, I'm excited I get to say this, stay strong.